spoilers in is how would you assess how today what tonight went for you for your first outing in the season? I would say very good. Uh, we didn't have a lot of guys, a lot of quick outs. Uh, defense played very well behind me. Uh, it was a very, very well played game. How encouraging was tonight for you, just considering you know you're healthy, you have to play back in Tommy John and how last year ended. How encouraging is the start to the second tone for you for this year? So encouraging. Uh, that was a big thing for me in spring training, just coming out of a healthy. I'm uh, feeling good right now, so I feel like we're in a good spot. Um, just got to keep going. How much closer to yourself do you feel just for your pre surgery self to shift over tonight? I mean, I feel pretty close. I mean, I don't know what the a difference would be between before and right now. Um, everything's been feeling pretty in line, so I'm just got to keep going. Were you surprised uh, that Dak left in there and pitched seventh in and it was the first time you've ever done that? Uh, well, I mean, my pitch count was pretty low, so I was kind of going into the dugout and I was wanting to stay in. If he would have came in over, I would have tried to barter with him to go back out, but he didn't let me go back out, so I was a good confidence booster. Were you a little surprised that he didn't come over? And I, I was 50 50 on it. I was like, I was thinking in my head like he might, but then he didn't, and I was super excited that he trusted me to go back out and get three more outs. But with the eighth inning, you knew that was not going to happen. Yeah, he came to me right away and said that I was going. So, Joe? Yeah. It's kind of a, an anomaly because uh, these guys don't let you guys go that deep in the game. Yeah, uh, so I mean, I was, I was lucky enough to have a low pitch count going into the seventh, so I feel like that was a good This is the first real season game with the Pitch clock, how did you handle that? I mean, we dealt with it all spring training. I'm, I'm pretty easy with it. It's not a big deal at all. You had a few uh, outings in the minors last year with the pitch clock, too. Was that, that kind of prepare you for everything? Well, last year in the minors, I was on the big league rehab, so I didn't have to do any of those well. Oh, okay. I, I, I experienced it with the other guys, but I didn't have to go through it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Does this, that, how important is it to go longer for you this year, and how important is durability for you seven innings? more? I mean, it's huge. I like going deep into games, uh, giving the team the best chance to win when I have a low pitch count. It's a low scoring ball game, so it's a, it was a good game of mine. You, you talked this spring about how well you were feeling coming off of the offseason. Just how important is it to start with this kind of outing and, and take some of that stuff you were feeling coming into the season to be able to, to begin you know, with the kind of thing you had tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Uh, now you start scouting guys and you're starting to think about ways to get ahead of guys and beat guys. So we went in with a game plan. I thought we executed real well. These guys uh, have a habit of not letting pitchers go through the lineup a third time, no matter how many pitchers. So do you think this is kind of a sea change? Is this something, an overall step philosophy that's going to change? I have no idea. That's out of my hand. Do you feel like you've gotten some of the passion and some of the joy back? I mean, I feel like I've never lost it. I mean, it's, I've always been wearing my heart on my shoulder when I'm out on the mountain. I really feel like I've never lost passion. So, yeah. Have you done that skip before? Uh, no, that was the first time. I, it was kind of unintentional, but like I had already like bounced back up and I'd already spun, so I just kept it going. The variation. Huh? The variation. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, that's